Tuskegee Nation, I'm Anthony Howellman, Commissioner of the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. Thank you for watching the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Tuskegee Nation, I'm Anthony Howellman, Commissioner of the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. Thank you for watching the Golden Tiger Sports Network. And we are live from Washington Field on the campus of Tuskegee University. And that means it's time for Tuskegee Baseball on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Glad you could join us for our coverage on a beautiful Wednesday afternoon here in Macon County on the campus of Tuskegee. Golden Tigers getting set to meet the Skyhawks of Point University in baseball action. Golden Tigers 10 and 28 on the season, 8 and 18 overall, or 8 and 18 in conference play. Skyhawks come in 27 and 14, and they are 14 and 10 in Southern States Athletic Conference play. Officials and the coaches at home plate. As we get set for this baseball game, Tuskegee will be sending up the freshman on the mound, Daniel Williams from Atlanta. Williams on the season 11.5 ERA, and he's looking for his second win of the campaign. This will be his eighth appearance on the season. Williams. Uh, 22 base on balls and six strikeouts for the freshman from Atlanta. His counterpart on the mound this afternoon will be Joshua Castillo. Castillo, a junior from La Habra, California. Castillo with a 4.96 ERA. He's in his 16th appearance for them. He is looking for his third one of the campaign for the Skyhawks. He comes in with seven, 24 strikeouts and 12 base on balls. Teams batting 250 against Castillo for the Skyhawks of Point University. That's the pitching matchup. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. We'll begin with the visiting Skyhawks of Point University. They will go with Daniel Gonzalez. Gonzalez will bat first, and he will play at first base for the Skyhawks. And then it'll be Jason Dower. Dower will play third base, and he will bat second in their lineup, followed by Slade Mink. Mink will be out in left field for the Skyhawks. Then it'll be Alex Maraud. McQuad, Marquad, Marquad behind the plate for the Skyhawks, and he will bat fourth in their lineup. He will be followed by Silas Butler. Butler will be out in center field. He will bat fifth. Then it will be Hunter Newmeyer. Meyer will play. Newmeyer will play out in right field. He will bat sixth for Point University, followed by Zeb Bard. Bard will be the DH in this ball game. He'll bat seventh. Mason Davis, he will be at short, uh, at second base, and he will bat eighth in their lineup, followed by the shortstop. Sam Baker, he will bat ninth, and again, Castillo on the mound. So the batting order for the Skyhawks is Gonzalez, Dower, and Mink, followed by Marquard, Butler, Newmeyer, then Baird, Davis, Baker. Those are the batting. <laughs> Hey, future business leader, launch your success story at one of the nation's premier HBCUs. Learn cutting edge practices and feed your entrepreneurial spirit. Tuskegee University, we get the business of business education. At Washington Field on the campus of Tuskegee, getting set for baseball action on the mound for the Golden Tigers of Tuskegee. It'll be the freshman Daniel Williams getting his warm-up tosses along with battery mate Chris Smith. For the Skyhawks, they will send up Gonzalez, Dower, and Mink, the first three in their lineup. 
to get things started here. Reference the fact that these teams have met before. They played in February of this year on the Point University campus just down the road here in West Georgia. And the Skyhawks won that ball game 7-1. Tuskegee got an early lead in that contest, got a, a run in the fourth, and not able to hold that as the Skyhawks came clear three in the fifth inning across the plate to take a 3-1 lead. And then Tuskegee scored another in the sixth to make it 3-2, but the Skyhawks in their bottom inning, part of that sixth inning, they played it two more. And then, then they played it two more in the bottom of the eighth to take the 7-2 win over the Golden Tigers of Tuskegee. Tuskegee, just on the outside looking in as it relates to the SIAC tournament, eight top teams in baseball go to the tournament. And Tuskegee right now in 10th, talking to Coach Chadwick Hall before the ball game, says it's gonna need a little bit of help First thing they got to do is they've got to win out as it relates to conference ball game, which this one is not this afternoon, but Tuskegee with a big ball game against us. Three game series against Spring Hill here on the Tuskegee campus coming this weekend, starting on Friday and a doubleheader on Saturday. Then they'll meet the Thoroughbreds of Kentucky State on the 26th in a doubleheader up in Frankfort, Kentucky. And they've got to win both of those series and they need a little bit of help from Benedict as well to get into that top eight of the SIAC to make it to the tournament. So Tuskegee still with a lot on the line here as they meet non-conference opponent, the Skyhawks of Point University. And stepping in is Daniel Gonzalez for the Skyhawks. He's a junior, 304 batting average. Williams has said officials, Alvin King calling the balls and strikes from behind the plate and Marlon Reynolds out in the field. The freshman. Toes the rubber for Tuskegee. He winds. And we are underway. First pitch swung on and fouled back. Williams referenced it on his line coming into the ball game. Only strict six strikeouts on the season. 0-1 as it relates to his one loss record. This is his eighth appearance. Ecox aims and throws a curveball that misses down low. So the count now, one and one to the leadoff man, Daniel Gonzalez, the junior from Havana, Cuba. Takes a pitch on the inside. That one's just off the plate for Williams. So 2-1 count. Glad you could join us for our coverage on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Charles Ward along here with our production crew as Williams fires another one on the inside. Just about the same location, same call. Count goes to three and one. A stunning day here in Tuskegee, Alabama. That pitch finds the corner. Williams located well there, takes the count to three and two. Three two pitch by Williams on his way. Curveball inside, and Gonzalez is aboard with a walk for the Skyhawks to get things going here at Washington Field. So Williams is 23rd base on balls for Tuskegee. And that'll bring up Dower to the plate. Dower, the senior from Cummings, Georgia, 250 batting average, six RBI on the season for the Skyhawks. Throwback over the first to chase Gonzalez back. Gonzalez only been caught stealing once during the course of the regular season, 17 and one. So Tuskegee gonna keep an early eye on him. Dower squares the bunt, takes a pitch on the inside for a ball. So Gonzalez got aboard with a walk. Now Dower stands ahead in the count, 1-0. Williams, he's going. Pitch, throw down the second by Smith, off line, and the base easily stolen by Gonzalez for Point University. Pitch was a little bit inside, and Smith had, had to kind of grab it first and then clear the batter to make the throw down the second. That pitch called the strike, though, so we go to one and one in the count with Gonzalez down at second base. From the stretch, Williams delivers. Pitch on the inside. Two balls, one strike, as Dower took that one. Good pitch, just a bit off the plate. Williams.
Williams. Now to the plate. That one on the inside. Good pick up there by Chris Smith behind the plate. Count at three and one. Dower hitless in the last contest between these two squads. 0 oh and 3. Curveball there. Good pitch from Daniel. Got it across. First inning action here from Tuskegee University. Golden Tigers hosting the Skyhawks, a point university. 3 2 pitch here to Dower. Williams delivers. Swung on and missed by Dower. They'll have to throw him out at first base. Gonzalez is going to take that opportunity to slide over the third. After Smith was not able to catch that third strike. So Dower strikes out, but Gonzalez is over to third now. And that'll bring up Slade Mink, the left fielder. Mink. Leads the team in batting, 378 average for him. 62 out of 164 plate appearances for the senior from Ocean Springs, Mississippi. 26 RBI on the season. Pitch bounced up there by Williams, but good block there by Chris Smith. So Gonzalez got aboard on a walk, stole second base, and then on the strikeout of Dower, moved over to third. This one swung on and out to center field. Tracking that baseball is James Slaughter. He'll make the catch there. Throw it into the infield, but that's deep enough to score Gonzalez from third base. So on the fly out to center field by Mink, he'll pick up the RBI. And Gonzalez plates the first run of the ball game. Catcher now, Alice McQuan steps in. Marquan. On the season, it's senior from Columbus, Georgia. 365 batting average. Takes the first pitch from the freshman Daniel Williams in for a strike. One around across for the Skyhawks. Curve ball by Williams. That's perfect on the corner. Ahead in the count, 0 2. Two down, top of the first. Williams rocks and fires for Tuskegee. Curveball off the plate. Tried to see if they couldn't get Marquand the chase on that one. Held his bat steady. One ball, two strikes, two down, top of the first. Williams with the pitch. Swung on, missed. And this time, the stunts, it was tipped by Marquand. So he will stay alive. Smith. Had a chance if he'd caught that ball, gave me ball, it would have been out number three, but not able to hang on to it after the foul tip by Mark Wand. One-two pitch from Williams. Curveball shot out the left field on a line, but that's going to be outside of the foul line. And we'll stay again at one-two. with the pitch, this one swatted back up the middle and threw for a base hit. So Marquan, patient at that plate appearance, drove it out in center field, and he's aboard with two down. So that'll bring up the center fielder now, Silas Butler. Butler, a junior from DeKalb, Georgia. Butler, 245 batting average. Leads the team in base on balls with 35. Also leads the team in the category that hurts most, hit by pitches. He's been hit 13 times during the course of the season. Marquand at first, pitch right at the belt there by Williams. Nice start for him in this sequence against Butler. Pitch gets away and down the second throws Marquand. Which 
sure they're going to score that, score that as a pass ball or a wild pitch. But it puts Mark Mink down, McCorn down at second base. Williams winds and pitches. Curveball over but low for the freshman. 2-1 count to Butler. Hunter Newmeyer on deck for the, Sky, for the Skyhawks. But Williams trying to retire Butler to get out of this inning. Pitch there driven on out the center field. Sliding and it'll be the left fielder calling for that one. Cody Willis and Willis makes the catch for the Golden Tigers to retire Point University. They leave a man stranded, but they put one across here in the top of the first. So Point University with a one nothing lead. Tuskegee coming to the plate. Hey, Tuskegee! This basketball season, shop the latest clothing, gifts, and of course, basketball merch from your one and only Tuskegee University bookstore. Visit us in-store or online at tuskegeeuniversityshop.com. See you soon. Hi, I'm Shiante Wester, head women's basketball coach, and this is the Golden Tigers Sports Network. I'm Reginald Ruffin, your Director of Athletics, and you are watching the Golden Tiger Sports Network. STEM careers are one of the fastest growing fields, yet women of color comprise less than 10% of the workforce within these high paying jobs. Tuskegee University is changing this. In 2018, we were awarded a grant from the National Science Foundation to develop computer science career awareness for young African American women. In 2019, we established the Campaign for Leadership and Excellence Scholarship. It provides future female engineers with financial support to pursue their educational goals. Today, Tuskegee continues to educate African American women in STEM fields, empowering them to pursue their chosen careers and providing the foundation they need to transform science, medicine, and technology. If a STEM career is in your future, Explore what Tuskegee can offer you. Tuskegee trailing at one nothing. They go into the bottom half of the first. It'll be Devin Lee, Cody Willis, and Stefan Wright, the first three in the order for Coach Hall and the Golden Tigers. Lee, the freshman from Atlanta, 357 batting average. Doubles as a pitcher for Tuskegee as well. 12 RBI on the season. He's got 31 total bases for the Golden Tigers. He'll step in against Joshua Castillo. Castillo, the junior from La Habra, La Habra California. He's set for his first pitch. That one off the plate and low. Lee. One of the leading pitchers for the Golden Tigers. Three wins and four losses on the season. Swings at their first pitch right at the shortstop. Baker, Baker, bobbled it momentarily, but able to collect and fire on the first to retire Devin Lee. Hard hit ball, but right to Sam Baker. So that'll bring up Cody Willis. Willis in his 21st ball game for the Golden Tigers this senior, uh, this season. Senior from Birmingham, Montgomery, Alabama, 262 batting average. Seven RBI on the season for Cody. Castillo. First pitch on the corner for a strike. Castillo pitching from the stretch. Winds and delivers. High chopper on the infield. Castillo fields it from the mound, fires the first through a dart down there to retire Willis. So good defensive effort there by the pitcher off of the mound, Castillo. That was a high chopper by Willis. Willis with good speed. And the throw by Castillo right on target. 
So that'll bring up Stefan Wright, the designated hitter for Tuskegee. Wright, the redshirt freshman from Indian Trail, North Carolina, 250 batting average. Castillo fires a first pitch in there for a strike at the corner. Wright swinging at that one, not able to catch up with the gas. Oh, one count. That one over but low, so the count at one and one now. Point. Got a point in the f first half of this inning. After Gonzalez walks, stole a base, and a fly out. Wright swings at that pitch, chops it back toward the screen, and he's down in the count one, two. Nicholas Pratt would be next if Wright is able to get aboard. Here's the pitch, curveball, chopped toward third, but wide of third and foul. <laughs> Infield for the Skyhawks, Dower at third, Baker at short, Mason Davis at second, and Gonzalez at first. One-two pitch, Wright couldn't hold up on it, but it gets away from the catcher. They'll have to throw him out at first base. That's easily done, and Tuskegee's retired here in the bottom of the first. We head to the second inning. Skyhawks a point University with a one nothing lead. Back with more baseball after this timeout on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. This is the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Hey, Tuskegee fans. This basketball season, shop the latest clothing, gifts, and, of course, basketball merch from your one and only Tuskegee University bookstore. Visit us in-store or online at tuskegeeuniversityshop.com. See you soon. What does education mean when you choose the top HBCU in Alabama? Um, so one of the things that's been most valuable for my experience at Tuskegee is being able to face challenges head on. Um, I can definitely say here I've learned how to be an advocate for myself, how to speak up and how to present myself in ways that can help me get opportunities to help me fix things that may not be right. And I think that's really just the best skill that I've learned here that I can take with me for the rest of my life. Look forward to your bright future. Apply to Tuskegee University today. Back live here at Washington Field. Tuskegee trailing at 1-0. We go to the second inning. It'll be Hunter Newmeyer, Zeb Baird, and Mason Davis. The lead three for head coach John Tyler and the Skyhawks. Tuskegee, 1-2-3 down in that bottom of the first. Newmeyer, the junior from Holiday, Utah, 256 batting average, steps in. Daniel Williams, a freshman from Atlanta, would love to go three up, three down here. First pitch, Newmeyer in tight and off the plate for ball one. Williams. Behind in the count, delivers. That was over, but low again. So 2-0 count now. Williams walked Gonzalez to start the top of the first. Behind in the count here at the top of the second to Newmeyer. That one's trying to change the direction on it. Went up higher in the zone, but too high. And the count now 3-0. Williams on four pitch. That's a walk there to Newmeyer. So Newmeyer starts to second with a base on balls. Second base on balls delivered by Daniel Williams. So Newmeyer's aboard, and that brings up Zeb Baird. Baird to DH for the Skyhawks. He's a senior from Auburn, just, a, just up the road here from Tuskegee. Throw over the first base. Newmeyer wasn't even off the bag yet. So he and Evans Jones just exchange a, a quick smile and 
comment about that one. This one swung on out the left field on a rope. It's going to stay fair. It is a fair ball. Got it right down in the corner, so that will easily clear. Oh, they're going to hold Newmeyer at third base. He had to wait to see if it was going to be fair. Coach Tyler was waving him from third to come on in. But he waited there in between, between first and second to see if it got down. It did get in play. So that'll be a double there for Baird. And that'll push Newmeyer over the third base for the Skyhawks. So Baird, his fourth or his ninth double of the season for the Skyhawks. He's at second and Newmeyer at third. And at the plate now for the Skyhawks is Mason Davis. Davis, the second baseman for the Skyhawks. Senior from Phoenix City, Alabama. No outs here. Curveball off the plate by Williams. So it's Newmeyer at third and Baird down at second. And Daniel Williams in a whole lot of trouble here. This pitch chopped on at the plate. And it'll roll foul just wide of third base. Count at one and one. Daniel there asking Marlon Reynolds. The official just right of the mound to check that baseball for him. Pitch at the plate, a slow curve over but low by Williams. So 2-1 in the count. Nobody out here, top of the second. Point University already leading 1-0. Got a runner at third and down at second. Williams fires to the plate, and that one's off the mark. Tuskegee looking down toward the dugout or the bullpen. Nobody warming just yet. See some bodies staring down that way, but nobody actually warming. Pitch there by Williams. That'll go to third baseman. Filled it and across the diamond with the throw is Pratt. They got the runner at first, but that drove home. Newmeyer from third base. So Newmeyer scores. And Baird goes over to third. Mason retired on the 6 3 put out by Pratt at our 5 3 at third base. So one down here in the top of the second. As Sam Baker, the shortstop, steps in now for point. Takes the first pitch high from Williams. For ball one. So one down with Baird at third. Williams with the pitch. Fast pitch on the corner. And that one's good for a strike. Daniel ahead in the count now, one, two. Williams with the pitch. Curve ball, chopped on and may get down, headed charging in there, trying to get it on the run and not able to field it. It's the center field, the Brian Hardaway out in right field, but that'll drop for a base hit. And the run will score. Tuskegee was challenging that. The third base, the, from third base, that the runner was not on the bag, but they appeal that to the umpire, Alvin King, and he confirms that everything was good there. So Baird will score on the single by Sam Baker. And Baker's aboard. Oh, no, correction on that. Baker, that ball was caught out in right field by Brian Hardaway. So Baker's retired on the fly out to right field. Thought I saw that ball hit the surface out there, but they say that Hardaway caught it for out number two. Still good enough to score Baird from third. And at the plate, they go back to the top of the order now with Gonzalez. He walked his last time up and eventually scored for the Skyhawks. They lead it 3 nothing now, top of the second. Williams with the pitch, curveball on the inside. 
backs his way up to the screen. Two balls, no strikes. Williams with the pitch, trying to go back on the inside. Same result, bouncing that one to the screen. Gonzalez, nine base on balls during the course of the regular season. If you add the one that he just had in the first inning, takes that one on the corner for a strike from Williams. So the count full now. Williams trying to work its way through this top of the second. He's already given up two. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Low and in the dirt. That's a walk again for Gonzalez. So he draws back-to-back -back walks, and he's aboard here in the top of the second. And that'll bring Dyer back to the tower, back to the plate. Dower at third base for the Skyhawks. Struck out his last time up. Williams would love to make him a victim again. Two down. This one swung on out the left field, tracking that base. Tuskegee in the bottom of the second. We'll send up Pratt, Hardaway, and Slaughter, the first three. They'll do that after this timeout on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Tuskegee Nation and Paul Carney, Tuskegee University Public Address announcer, thank you for listening to the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Golden Tiger fans, I'm Gerald Long, General Manager of the Utilities Board of Tuskegee. Thank you for watching the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Go Tigers! What does education mean when you choose the top HBCU in Alabama? Um, so one of the things that's been most valuable for my experience at Tuskegee is being able to face challenges head on. Um, I can definitely say here I've learned how to be an advocate for myself, how to speak up and how to present myself in ways that can help me get opportunities to help me fix things that may not be right. And I think that's really just the best skill that I've learned here that I can take with me for the rest of my life. Look forward to your bright future. Apply to Tuskegee University today. Back at Washington Field, Tuskegee trying to wipe away a 3-0 deficit to the Skyhawks of Point University. It'll be Nicholas Pratt, third baseman, to bat first here in the bottom of the second. Pratt, the sophomore from Atlanta, on the season 295 batting average. And here's a pitch from Castillo. That one's over for a strike. So Pratt trying to get things started here in the bottom of the second. Skeegee three up, three down in the bottom of the first. Curveball. And Nicholas got to lean back just a little bit to avoid that one hitting him. So the count one and one. Steele fires, swung on and missed there by Pratt. So the count at one and two. Brian Hardaway the second. On deck, followed by James Slaughter. Tuskegee looking for his base, first base runner of the ball game. Curveball, they'll get it here as Pratt is plunked in the back by Castillo. And he was ahead in a count one and two. Certainly didn't mean to do that, but Nicholas is aboard after being hit by the pitch. So Tuskegee trying to get something started here. First base runner of the ball game. Ryan Hardaway, the sophomore from Atlanta. Just beneath that Mendoza line as it relates to average at the plate at 192. Castillo readies. Hardaway trying to bunt it right side, but missed on it as it goes foul just in front of the Skyhawks dugout. Trying to push that runner to second base. Pratt got aboard, being hit by a pitch. Yeah. 
Steele to the plate. This is a good bunt there by Hardaway, just in front of the plate. They throw it down the first base and get him there, but a great bunt there by Brian to push Nicholas down the second base. So good sacrifice there. To the plate now is James Slaughter, the center fielder. Correction on that, they are going to rule that the throw was not in time. So Hardaway is aboard. And at the plate now is James Slaughter. So Brian's good on that bunting base hit. He's at first. Down at second is Nicholas Pratt. And at the plate is James Slaughter. But as we look at Nicholas down at second base, he was hit on the pitch by Castillo. He was holding his shoulder there down at second base in some pain. He'll bunt it again. This time it's bobbled by Castillo over to third base and they get Pratt this time. Bobbled momentarily by Castillo. But they get the lead runner Pratt at third. So he's retired. But that'll push Hardaway down to second base with one down. And at the plate now, Caleb Kirkland. Kirkland, the junior from Atlanta. Trying to keep this line going here in the bottom of the second. One down, Tuskegee trailing 3-0. Here's the pitch, swung on, driven off the right field. And on a run, but tracking it down in right field, that's Newmeyer. circles under it. And he gets it back into the infield and over to third base. Goes Hardaway for Tuskegee. So good sacrifice there by Kirkland to push Hardaway over to third. Hard hit ball out in the right field. So two down here. <laughs> and that will bring up Chris Smith, the catcher. Runners at the corner. Throw down to second base. Attempted to pick off there and stealing that base. With Slaughter. So Slaughter down to second. Smith now with two runners on base at third and second. Ahead in the count, 1-0. Here's the pitch. He'll drive one out the right field as well. Newmeyer tracking that one. A little bit more distance to run. Misjudged it, and it's over his head. Down at the base of the wall. That'll score two for Tuskegee. And over to third base, sliding head first with it. That'll be a double stretched into a triple there by Chris Smith. So Smith got it over the head of Newmeyer. Just kind of lost his concentration out there in right field. Misjudged that baseball. It's a well hit, struck ball. Got that was an error, but that'll push two across for Tuskegee. As Hardaway scores and Slaughter scores. And Tuskegee cuts the deficit. Pitch by Castillo. Bounced up there. Good defensive stop there by Marquand, the catcher for Point University. Chris Smith down at third base. And Evan Jones, the first baseman, trying to see if he can't pick him up. Here's the pitch. And that's a good pitch there from Castillo. Splits the dish. Count at one and one. Castillo. Fires, swung on and missed there. Jones looking for something else. That pitch was a little bit off the plate. Committed to it, and now he's down in the count, one, two. Smith at third, Castillo on the mound. He fires, swings and misses, does Jones, and he's out on the strikeout there after throw him out at first. They do that, and that retires Tuskegee in the bottom of the second, but the Golden Tigers push across two. After an error out in right field, 3-2 lead for the Skyhawks. We go to the top of the third after this timeout. Hi, I am Deborah Rogers, Deputy Chief Athletic Director, Tuskegee University, and you're watching the Golden Tiger Sports Network.
Being an Alabamian, being someone who's been in Alabama all but six and a half years of my 46 years, I feel very strongly that I am tied to this state and I'm tied to the health of this state and I want this state to succeed. We know that a healthy Alabama is a productive and prosperous Alabama. Healthy children are the future of us as a society. We need to make sure that our children are covered by insurance, that they get preventive medical care, that they receive their vaccinations to keep them healthy, um, that they have healthy and productive lives and grow up to be productive adults. Back live at Washington Field, Tuskegee cuts into that deficit. Skyhawks lead it now 3-2. New pitcher on the mound now for the Golden Tigers. It's the junior, Alondas Armistad from Wesson, Mississippi. Transferred to Tuskegee from Olaf College, or St. Olaf. Looking for his first win of the campaign. This will be his seventh appearance for the Golden Tigers. Four strikeouts on the season, five base on balls. Teams averaging right at 400 from the plate with them on the mound. So Tuskegee trailing by one now. They lift the freshman Daniel Williams and the junior Alondas Armistad out now. For Point University, they will send up Slade Meek, Alex Marquand, and Silas Butler. So Tuskegee got the benefit of a uh, error out in right field on the fly ball by Chris Smith. Had a couple of runners on base when Smith connected with that fly ball out to right. It was very well hit. Newmeyer had just caught one and run on the play before that. This time he just misjudged where he was on the field as it relates to the fence and over his head. And Tuskegee, just like that, right back into this ball game, trailing 3-2. Mink flew out to center field his last time up. We're at the top of the third here from Washington Field. More Golden Tigers baseball coming your way on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. We're back here on Friday for the first ball game of a three-game set with Tuskegee hosting the Badgers of Spring Hill in that series that Coach Hall referenced in pregame comments that they absolutely had to win needed to win all three. Pitch by Armistad is off the plate down low. Count at 2-0. and oh. Marquand on deck for Point University. Alondas fires the 2-0. This one chopped on out toward the stretch stop Lee. He fields, slides, and threw it offline at first base. Devin with plenty of time on that throw. Sliding across the surface. And the baseball went into a penalized area so they'll give second base to Slade Mink. So Mink aboard after the error from Lee at shortstop. And then on the throw down to second base. So Tuskegee in jeopardy of giving those runs right back to the Skyhawks that they just collected in the bottom of the second. Mink down at second. Marquand at the plate. Marquand singled his last time up. Here's the pitch off the plate. 3-2 lead for point. Slade Mink down at second. Butler on deck for point. Amistad. Nice pitch by him on the corner. Takes the count to one and one. Amistad. Eight and a third inning worth of work before this ball game. One one count. 
for ball over but low from Amistad. So two and one the count now. Mink down at second after the errant throw by Lee from shortstop. Nice ground ball, but Devin just not able to throw it cleanly across the diamond, throw it way off line. Here's a pitch, this one chopped on, and will drift behind third base, just out of fair territory. Pratt there able to squeeze it for Tuskegee for the out. So they retire Marquand on a fly out. So one down here in the top of the third. Silas Butler now, he flew out to center field his last time up. He's got Mink down at second base. Amistad with the pitch. On the inside, held there just for a fraction of a second by Chris Smith as he looks back at umpire Alvin King, asking if that one truly missed. So one ball, no strikes to Butler. This one chopped on and foul right off of the foot of Butler at the plate. He's got that ankle guard on on his left leg, which is lead leg as a right-handed batter. Trying to walk off those bumblebees after that baseball hit him on that protective gear. So one and one count now. I'm gonna start Piers in for the sign from Smith. Mink down at second, here's the pitch. They're going at third base, the throw down there is thrown, thrown and out in the left field. So Smith with the throw, bounced it down to third. And the pressure on the base pads pays off by the Skyhawks. As Mink stole third, and he came home on the air and throw from the catcher Smith down at third base on the steal. So 4-2 lead now for the Skyhawks. 2-1 the count at the plate. Strike thrown there by Amistad to Butler to make it 2-2. Two and two. One down, top of the third. Amistad together on the sign with Smith. The pitch bounced up there to make it three and two. Newmeyer on deck for the Skyhawks. Will be followed by Baird. There's a pitch here. That one's just off the plate. And Butler coaxes the walk here in the third. So he's aboard, just one down. As Newmeyer comes to the plate. He scored in the top of the second. Butler at first base. Amistad's pitch right on the corner to start things off in this sequence to Newmeyer. Four two lead for the Skyhawks. We're in the top of the third. Amistad ahead in the count, throw over to first base. And then he chases back Butler. Amistad ready now. Runner going, swung on, fouled back. So Newmeyer trying to execute a little hit and run there. Foul that one back so they'll reset it. Back to first goes Butler. Count goes to one and two on Newmeyer. Got on on a 
base on balls in the second inning. Eventually came around to score. Throw back over the first. Close there on the throw. But stepping back in, it's Butler. One down, top of the third. Amistad. Fires to the plate. Curveball over. Got away from Smith. Butler on his way down to second base. There's a wild pitch there. Butler's down at second. Meanwhile, Newmeyer at the plate. Two and two count. And Point has already pushed across a run here in the top of the third. Two-two. This one popped up. Smith coming out from behind the plate. Squeezes it just in front of the point dugout for out number two. So Newmeyer with the pop up there to the catcher. He's retired two down here in the top of the third. And Zach Baird, the DH, comes back to the plate, doubled his last time up. Butler down at second. Amistad trying to stop the damage here with just one. Run across. Here's the pitch. Going on the throw down to third base. This one bounced down there again by Smith. Got out in the left field again. Same result. And the run crosses for the Skyhawks. So Butler got down to second on a wild pitch. Tried to steal third and the throw from the catcher. Smith is offline, so he will score. So two across here in the top of the third for Point University. They pushed their lead to 5-2. Amistad. This pitch, top of the zone for a strike. Baird, the senior from Auburn. Amistad, the junior. This pitch tried to go to that same location, but this one a little higher in the zone was for a ball. So Baird up in the count, 2-1. Curveball bounced up there for a 3-1 count now. Uh, trying to manage that curveball. Just not getting it across the plate. It's bouncing before it gets there. Sharp drop on it, but not traveling the correct distance. 3-1 pitch. That one out of the zone for the walk. So Baird is aboard. Second walk of the inning here for Amistad. Mason Davis. Steps back in for Point University. Grounded out to Nicholas Pratt at third base his last time up. Two down. Here's the pitch popped up. Calling forward is Kirkland at second base. Now take calling him off and making the catch is Devin Lee at shortstop. So Lee squeezes that for out number three. Two across for the Skyhawks here in the top of the third. They leave a man aboard. They lead it now 5-2 over Tuskegee. Golden Tigers to the plate after this timeout. I'm Reginald Ruffin, your Director of Athletics, and you are watching the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Tuskegee University's founder, Booker T. Washington, said, Excellence is to do a common thing in an uncommon way. At many universities, big classes are common. Not at Tuskegee. We have small classes with a 14 to 1 average student to teacher ratio. 
This formula for excellence ensures individualized attention. You get to know your professors and they get to know you. Know you well enough to recommend you for internships, research, graduate programs, and job opportunities. Small classes, big impact. It's all part of educational excellence at Tuskegee University. New pitcher on the mound now for the Skyhawks of Point University. It's the senior Julio Lopez from Long Beach, California. Lopez leads the team in the ERA with 3.22. Six wins on the season for him. This will be his 12th appearance for the Skyhawks. On the season, he's got 41 strikeouts and just 14 bases on balls for the Point University Skyhawks. And Tuskegee trying to see if they can't claw into him a little bit. Castillo off of the mound after th two in innings of work. He gave up two. And now it'll be the lefty Lopez. And at the plate for the Golden Tigers, Devin Lee, the shortstop. Devin grounded out to the shortstop his first time up. Devin will be followed by Cody Willis, then Stephon Wright. So the lefty, Lopez, toes the rubber. Devin steps in the box. Tuskegee trailing by three. Gave up two in the top of the third. First pitch, swung on and drilled out to right field. Newmeyer giving chase. This time he's under it and makes the catch. Hard hit ball by Devin Lee. Couldn't find the gap, though. That'll bring up Cody Willis. Cody grounded out to Castillo, the pitcher at the time, right at the mound. As Tuskegee went three up, three out, down in that top of the, the bottom of the first. Got two in the bottom of the second. One down here, swung on and missed by Cody. Cody, 262 batting average on the season, seven RBI. And trying to go to work quickly here is Lopez. Curve ball, swung on. Well, it's got a piece of it and fouls it back. Stefan right on deck for Tuskegee. <laughs> Down in the count, Cody is. Takes that third pitch called strike three. Good pitch there by Lopez. So Willis is retired on that with a strikeout. And Stephon Wright will step in. He struck out his last time out, but had to be thrown out after the ball got away from the catcher, and he was. So two down here in the bottom of the third. Lopez fires. Swung on and missed by Wright. Lopez, a lot of action on his fastball. No one pitch on its way. This one swatted on, bobbled at short, flipped to first base, not in time. So the error at short by Baker will allow Wright to go on base for Tuskegee. Again, another hard hit ball, but certainly manageable. But Baker just not able to field it cleanly for Point University. Baker seventh or eighth, now ninth era on the season for the shortstop. Wright's aboard for Tuskegee. At the plate, Nicholas Pratt. And Nicholas takes the first pitch inside for ball one. This one down low as well. So Nicholas ahead in the count now, 2-0. Down at first base, Stephon Wright. Two down, bottom of the third. Tuskegee trying to see if they can't push one across. Pitch there from Lopez. Change of pace, got it over for the strike. Two and one. Sophomore Nicholas Pratt looking for a base hit here. 
Lopez with the pitch. This one swatted over the head of Baker at short. Down in the center field for a base hit. They're going to try to wave him over to third and sliding in there, and he is out. Tried to send Stefan Wright from first base after the hit out in center field, but it was filled cleanly out in center field by Silas Butler, and Butler threw a dart over the third, and they retire right on the, trying to stretch it over the third base. So Tuskegee leaves one on base, and we go to the top of the fourth, trailing at 5-2 to the Skyhawks of Point University. Hi, I am Lily Lanier, president of the Tuskegee National Alumni Association, and you're watching the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Thank you. Are you looking for education that leads to career success and something more? We are Tuskegee University, one of the nation's top ranked HBCUs. We believe in education to fulfill your purpose. Here, you work hard because you dream harder. By pursuing your purpose, you will make a difference. Are you ready for something big? Let's get started. Hey, future business leader. Launch your success story at one of the nation's premier HBCUs. Learn cutting edge practices and feed your entrepreneurial spirit. Tuskegee University, we get the business of business education. Hey, future business leader. Launch your success story at one of the nation's premier HBCUs. Learn cutting edge practices and feed your entrepreneurial spirit. Tuskegee University, we get the business of business education. Tuskegee going with his third pitcher of this ball game. It'll be the freshman Rodney Mudd the second from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Rodney on the season, one and two, ERA of 6.92 for the Golden Tigers. 39 innings work for the freshman. 22 strikeouts, 40 base on balls. Teams batting 273 against him. And we'll see if the freshman can change the tide here for Tuskegee. Five two lead for the Skyhawks. Sam Baker will be in the batter's box for the Skyhawks to lead off the top of the fourth. They lead it five two. So we'll see what Rodney's able to do here. He pitched. The last time these teams played, got an innings worth of work in in that ball game and gave up a hit and a couple of runs in that contest against Point University on their campus in mid-February. First pitch from Rodney is off the plate for ball one. Mud fires and misses off track with that second pitch. Baker flew out to right field his last time up. Rodney with the 2-0. This one chopped on and headed toward the Tuskegee dugout, giving chase and out of room is the third baseman, Nicholas Pratt. When I heard that thud just past the Tuskegee dugout, Nick ran out of room, gave it a good look there, though. Count to 2-1. and one. Baker will be followed by Gonzalez, then Dower. 2-1 pitch. That one's off the plate high. 3-1 now. Tuskegee just trying to get a, somebody on that mound that's going to throw some consistent strikes. That one swung on, popped up on the infield. Mud and the catcher Smith taking a look at it. Now calling him off as a third baseman Pratt. So Pratt at the last moment comes in to make that catch from third. So Baker retired here at the top of the fourth. And that'll bring up Gonzalez. He was hit, got a walk last time he was up and then was 
given that same courtesy in the first of two base on balls, his two trips to the plate. This time he faces Roger Mudd, or Rodney Mudd. Roger Mudd. That's a name from way back. NBC News. First pitch from Rodney is off the plate, ball one. A little tighter, but still too high. Two balls, no strikes. One down here. Top of the fourth. Tuskegee trying to retire point. Line drive shot and out to right field for a base hit by Gonzalez. So he's aboard for the third time in this ball game on a sharp single. Point has scored a point in every inning so far. Got one in the first, two in the second, and two in the third. And now they get Gonzalez aboard here at the top of the fourth. One down. And Jason Dower, third baseman, steps in. Dower flew out the left field his last time up. Dangerous throw over the first as Evan Jones has to slide past. Gonzalez there to catch that baseball. Had to come off the bag to do it. Mud to the plate. That pitch looked good, but called off the plate for ball. Tuskegee would love to get a ground ball chance for a double play here. Mud with the pitch. Found the zone with that fastball. Tuskegee has turned 13 double plays on the regular season. Would like an opportunity here. Mud with the pitch. Curveball going down. The throw down to second. It's way off line and too high. Base stolen by Gonzalez. So Point runs his way out of the potential double play by sending Gonzalez, and he is down at second base after he stole it. Mud with the pitch. This one chopped out to center field. Tracking it is Slaughter. He'll make the catch running to his right and fires it back into the infield. So two down here in the top of the fourth after the fly out by Dower. That'll bring up Slade Mink. Mink, the left fielder for the Skyhawks. Scored his last time up in the third after an error by Tuskegee. Rodney squares, fires a pitch. That's a strike on the corner. That's Gonzalez down at second base for Point University. Slade Meek in the box. And over the shoulder look at Rodney Mudd, the second, as he gets set to fire the pitch. That one off the plate. Count to one and one. Curveball laced out to left field. That'll get down for a base hit. We'll see if they're going to wave, and they do. The throw coming up to the plate. It's a little offline, um, and that's enough to plate Gonzalez. No doubt about it. Coach Todd was going to send him all the way to test the arm of Cody Willis out in left field. Cody, Cody threw it up the third base line, and easily scoring was Gonzalez. So Mink will be credited with the RBI there as he's at first base with a single. So one across here in the fourth for the Skyhawks. They lead it now 6-2. Alex Marquand at the plate now, and Marquand takes the first pitch for a strike. Two down here in the top of the fourth. Tuskegee was hoping to get out of this top of the fourth without yielding a run. Pitch, curveball, it's off the plate. 
count at one and one now on Alex Marquand, the catcher for the Skyhawks. It's a little light fly out to Nicholas Pratt at third, his last time up. Smith having a scramble there to block that baseball. Count goes to two and one. Two one offering. Swatted out to center field. Slaughter got a late start on that one. Slides to his right and makes the catch on the run for Tuskegee. So that retires the fourth for the Skyhawks, but they get another run and they stretch their lead to 6 2. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Tuskegee got some work to do with the bats. We'll see if they can after this timeout on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Tuskegee fans, this is the Golden Tiger Sports Network. You know, as men, we often put off our own health care. It's not going to happen to me, you know, or I don't have time for that, or, you know, my dad didn't do it, so I'm not going to do it. We're too busy working, too busy doing other things. We have to talk about what's healthy, making good decisions and making good uh, choices whether that's uh, food choices or exercise. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you need to take medication, take in the right medications. It's important that men get those regular checkups uh, and then listen to their doctor's uh, recommendations. Hey, future business leader. Launch your success story at one of the nation's premier HBCUs. Learn cutting edge practices and feed your entrepreneurial spirit. Tuskegee University. We get the business of business education. Home, where you hang out with friends, do homework, relax, explore, where you can be yourself. Come home to Tuskegee University. Get the education that changes lives, including your own. Back live here at Washington Field, another pitcher in the rotation for the Skyhawks on the mound now. It's the junior Cooper Hack. Hack from Casper, Wyoming. 9.5 ERA, 1-1 one, one record on the season for the junior. This uh, He's been in 11 and one-thirds inning play for the Skyhawks. Hawks on the mound, giving up 15 hits, 17 runs, 12 strikeouts, and 13 base on balls for the junior as he takes over here in the bottom of the fourth for point. They lead it 6-2 at the plate for Tuskegee. First pitch on the inside to Brian Hardaway, the second. So Hardaway singled his last time up, eventually scored, and loops one to the shortstop. On the run, Baker with the toss over the first base, nicely done by Baker at short to retire Hardaway. So James Slaughter set to come in the box now for Tuskegee. He'll be followed by Caleb Kirkland as Cooper Hack goes to work. First pitch tipped and fouled back by Slaughter. Here's a pitch by Hack, curveball. Call the ball there. Slaughter. Hack working on his right shoestring. Counted one and one on Slaughter. Cooper Hack sets and fires. Pitch high in his own. Two balls, one strike. One down here, bottom of the fourth. That pitch down low. Hack the winning pitcher against Tuskegee the last time the teams met. To point, what about four or five pitchers appearing in that ball game as we've 
see them on track to do the same thing here. Three two pitch. This one swatted and just wide a third by Slaughter. Just a bit out in front of it. That is timing good on the pitch. Got to straighten it out. Three two count, one down, bottom of the fourth. This one popped up right side. Second baseman ranging out there. That's Mason Davis, and he'll make the grab for the Skyhawks. So Slaughter retired on the fly out to the second baseman. So Caleb Kirkland now will step in the box for Tuskegee. He flew out to right field his last time up. Two down, top, bottom of the fourth. Curve ball over by Cooper Hack. Hack with the perfect name for a pitcher. Curve ball there as Kirkland not able to lay off of it. So at least on the mound trying to get the batters to hack and not get full swings at pitches that he's thrown. Got one there, Kirkland with a little half swing. This time, Hack going full throttle with the fastball, but threw it out of the zone. Count at one and two on Kirkland. Kirkland, the junior from Atlanta. Took a pitch there off the plate to take the count to two and two. And Kirkland able to lay off a good pitch near the strike zone, but called just off the plate by Alvin King, the umpire. 3-2, this one hit out the right field. Our ranging is the center field to his left, Silas Butler, and Butler makes the grab. And that retires Tuskegee in the bottom of the fourth. So we head to the fifth, 6-2 lead for the Skyhawks of Point University. More baseball action coming your way on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Tuskegee fans, this is the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Hi, I'm Nicholas Brown, Academic Advisor, Operation Manager, and you're watching the Golden Tiger Sports Network. STEM careers are one of the fastest growing fields, yet women of color comprise less than 10% of the workforce within these high paying jobs. Tuskegee University is changing this. In 2018, we were awarded a grant from the National Science Foundation to develop computer science career awareness for young African American women. In 2019, we established the Campaign for Leadership and Excellence Scholarship. It provides future female engineers with financial support to pursue their educational goals. Today, Tuskegee continues to educate African-American women in STEM fields, empowering them to pursue their chosen careers and providing the foundation they need to transform science, medicine, and technology. If a STEM career is in your future, explore what Tuskegee can offer you. Back live here at Washington Field, Tuskegee trailing at 6-2 and Tuskegee. Going with another pitcher here, Caden Smith, the junior from Burleson, Texas, on the mound now for Coach Hall and the Golden Tigers. Trying to find someone that can just stop the bleeding. The Skyhawks have scored at least one run in every inning of this ball game. And they will come to the plate here in the top of the fifth. It'll be Newmeyer, Baird, and Mason Davis, the second baseman, the first three in the lineup for Coach Tyler and Point University. So Caden Smith, ERA of 10.9, one three, one loss record on the season for Caden. This will be his eighth appearance. Six strikeouts on the season, 24 base on balls, teams averaging 322 from the plate when he's on the mound. So see if Caden can make a difference here for Tuskegee. The top of the fifth we go. Butler back to the plate, got a board on an error last time up. 
Then went down to second on a wild pitch. He got aboard initially on the base on balls and eventually scored in the third for Point University. And Caden Smith set to go to work now for the Golden Tigers. Junior rocks and fires. First pitch curveball, but it's in tight. Timeout taken by Chris Smith, the catcher for Tuskegee. I think they may be trying to make an apparel adjustment here. Just outside of this Tuskegee dugout. I think he forgot some very important catcher wear. That's almost essential when you're behind the plate. So he's able to don that, and we're back to play. 0-1, I mean, sorry, one ball, no strikes. As Smith fires, curveball, this one out of the zone as well. Two-oh pitch, plunked in the back this time as Butler and he'll advance to first base on the walk. They were trying to go in tight on him, went too tight. And Butler again is aboard with the walk. Walked his last time, this time he's hit by the pitch to get aboard to start the fifth. So that'll bring up Hunter Newmeyer. Newmeyer popped up to Chris Smith, the catcher, last time he was up. Butler down at first. Hit kind of squarely in the back on that pitch as he turned his back to the pitch. He would have gotten hit anyway, but absorbed it in the shoulder blade area on a turn. So he's at first. Smith readies over to first base with the throw. And they chase Butler back. Pitch to the plate, curveball over by Smith. Good pitch to start Newmeyer with. Throw back over the first. Diving back in that time was Butler. 0 oh, 1 count to Newmeyer at the plate. Throw to the plate. Low pitch. Ball on the call at the plate. Throw behind the runner and out in the center field. So Butler is able to get up after the slide and make it over to the third base. So Butler with the steal and the throw by Smith out in the center field pushes him to third. And just like that, Skyhawks back in business again. Nobody out here in the top of the fifth. Butler sitting there, waiting to be driven home by Newmeyer. That pitch is up and out of the zone by Smith. Nobody down, top of the fifth here. We're live from Washington Field, Tuskegee University, Golden Tigers baseball. Back here on Friday for single action when the Golden Tigers, this one swatted on to the shortstop Lee. He boots it there. And getting on after the error by Lee will be Newmeyer. And to the plate comes Butler. So Devin Lee at short, not able to handle that one cleanly. And Newmeyer's aboard, and Zeb Baird comes to the plate. 
Badgers to Spring Hill here on Friday. Tuskegee will be hosting them in a three-game series over the weekend. First pitch in this sequence to Baird is low and off the plate. We'll be here Friday for baseball coverage. And then we'll shift to softball action for uh, the Golden Tigers softball team. They'll be engaged in a three-game series over the weekend. Soft baseball action for Tuskegee after the series this coming weekend against Spring Hill. Then it's off to Huntsville on Tuesday to meet the Bulldogs of Alabama A&M. High curveball off the plate there by Smith, and they conclude the season, regular season that is, on the 26th when they travel to Frankfurt to meet the Thoroughbreds of Kentucky State in the doubleheader. This ball game this afternoon, non-conference contest. But as Coach Hall referenced in my comp conversation with him in the pregame, Tuskegee still with an outside chance of getting into the SIAC baseball tournament. Chopped on and fouled back by Baird. But they have got to win the series coming up against the Badgers of Spring Hill. Spring Hill right now currently second in the SIAC. Top eight include Albany number one, Spring Hill two, Edward Waters three, Savannah State four. Miles five, Lane six, and Kentucky State seventh. Followed by Benedict, and that pitch tiptoeing is Smith trying to climb the ladder to get it, not able to get it, and it goes to the screen, and down the second goes Newmeyer. Count three and one to Baird. One already scored here, four point here in the top of the fifth. Smith to the plate. This one fouled off right side by Baird. So just referencing Tuskegee again as it relates to the SIAC baseball tournament. They'll need some help from Benedict in terms of them losing a ball game or two and Tuskegee having to win all ball games, conference games remaining on their schedule. Right now in 10th and got to climb up to that eighth spot to get into it, swing and a miss there by Barrett Baird. Good pitch there by Caden Smith, chased him off the plate. And Baird strikes out here in the top of the fifth. First out registered for Tuskegee. Mason Davis comes to the plate now for point. Down at second base, Hunter Newmeyer. 7-2 lead for point. One down, top of the fifth. Smith to the plate. Delivers a strike there for Tuskegee to get this sequence started against the second baseman, Mason Davis. Newmeyer down at second, being held there by Caleb Kirkland. Trying to slide in behind him. Pitch to the plate. Curveball bounced up there. Smith able to block it and prevent Newmeyer from taking third. Smith has had a workout behind the plate this afternoon for Tuskegee. Several different pitchers. A couple of wild pitches mixed in there in this contest. Here's a pitch here. This one drilled out to center field. Slaughter got it in track, fields, fires down to the second base. Newmeyer was off the bag about halfway to see if that ball got through, but it was caught by Hunter Slaughter in center field. So Davis is retired. Two down here, top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Sam Baker. Baker flew out to the third baseman last time up. Nicholas Pratt takes the first pitch and fouls it off right side. So Smith ahead in the count, 0-1. Two down, top of the fifth. Noonmeyer down at second for point. Baker in the box. Good pitch there from Caden Smith, finds the corner, strike two. O2 
2 pitch. Smith trying to see if he can't just limit the damage to one run here in the top of the fifth. Chopped on, high chopper deep in the hold. Lee's can nowhere to go with the baseball. It was hit so deep into the hold and he had to wait for it to come down. So Baker is aboard with a base hit. That pushes Newmeyer over to third. Nothing but a base hit there. Just the way that baseball hopped out and so high on the chop. It went right between Lee at short and Pratt at third. And Devin had to wait for it to come down. No place to go with the baseball after it did. Back to the top of the order now. Gonzalez, high pitch there. He has to bail out with runners on the corner. Singled his last time up for Point University. Smith, rocks and fires. That one in tight as well. Throw down to second base. Stealing that base easily, though, was Sam Baker. Almost kind of a half throw there by Chris Smith from behind the plate. So the runner's now at third and second with two down for Gonzalez. Newmeyer at third, curveball over from Smith. And down at second base is Baker. Two down, top of the fifth. Caden Smith with the one and one. Delivers to the plate. Good pitch from Caden for called for a strike. One and two. Junior set for this one-two pitch. He rocks and fires, curveball. And ripped out the left with hooking wave foul. Way out in front of that one was Gonzalez. Smith with the curveball, bounced it up there. Good block there by Chris Smith behind the plate. Count goes full at three and two now on Gonzalez. First base is open. Now the three two pitch here, two down. And the pitch, swung on, out to the shortstop, Devin Lee. This time he fields cleanly, throws it high across the diamond. And Devin is not able to find himself at shortstop today. Threw that one high, even over a leaping, leaping Evan Jones at 6-2. Smith, or Lee, had plenty of time on the throw, but just threw it badly, and that pushed two more across as a result of that error. So Newmeyer scores, and so does Baker after the E6 on Devin Lee. Costly there. Lee's already had one error in this ball game. And he's committed his seventh on the season. Throw down the second base, bounce down there, and stealing second base is Gonzalez. So just not clean baseball by Tuskegee in this contest so far. As Gonzalez still second, 9-2 lead now for point. Jason Dower at the plate. Pitch thrown all the way to the backstop. I believe that was slipped out of the hands of Caden Smith. And over to third goes Gonzalez on the wild pitch. Two down, top of the fifth. Three already across, four 
The Skyhawks threatening a third. Here's the pitch from Smith. Swung on. Fouled a wide of third base. And Gonzalez makes a one-hand grab of that baseball. One ball, two strikes to Dower. And Caden Smith trying to finish this inning off. One-two pitch. Chopped on and going to get through the hole left side for a base hit. Dower had a seeing eye hit there. That one just crept right up under the glove of Pratt and just to the right of Devin Lee and into left field. So he's on board with the single and an RBI as Gonzalez crosses the plate. That'll bring up the left fielder Slade Mink. Mink singled his last time up. Throw over to first base and back in there safely is Dower. 9-10-2 lead for the Skyhawks. After the single by Dower, left side. That pitch high and out of the zone to Mink. Two down, Tuskegee just cannot get out of this top of the fifth. Curveball, that one high of the zone. Two old count to Mink. Smith delivers. And Mink held off of that pitch. Assistance given by Martin Reynolds out in the field said he did not go on the swing. So the count at 3-0 and now. Dower at first. Here's a pitch. Curveball out of the zone. Well, that's a four-pitch walk there to Mink. He's aboard. And Dower down to second base. Dallas McQuan now set to step in, and the Skyhawks just about set to bat around here in the inning. Silas Butler started it, and he's on deck. They've already put four across. Pitch there, low. And Marquan has started out with a ball. Dower at second, Mink at first. Smith with the pitch, bounced that one up there and it got away from Smith. And over to third, now goes Dower and Mink down the second base. And that's gonna go down as a wild pitch there. And Marquand now, the chance to move the runners in, pick up a couple of RBIs with a single. That one's high and off the plate, warming in the Tuskegee bullpen now is Ty Turner. Three balls, no strikes to Marquand. That's a four pitch walk. And Coach Hall now, looks like he's ready to come to the mound and indeed he is looking to the bullpen hoping that Smith could get that third out. Instead, base is loaded now. And back to the top of the, or back to the start of this inning is Silas Butler coming back to the plate. He'll come with the bases loaded. Dower at third, Mink at second. Now Marcon at first. And Tuskegee getting set to flip the mound, and they'll bring in a new pitcher. Had Lee warming in the bullpen. This will be a right-hander coming to the mound for Tuskegee. So Smith not able to get out of that jam. And Tuskegee.
pitching change here in the top of the fifth. On the mound is Ryan Morrow for Tuskegee, the freshman Saint Pete from St. Petersburg, Florida. Morrow winless on the season at 0-0. ERA of 7.7 .7 for the Golden Tigers. This will be his fourth appearance. And this will be four and two-thirds innings for him as he starts this top of the fifth with two down for the Skyhawks of Point University. And Tuskegee just trying to find a pitcher in this ball game that can get a full sequence together. And now in this case, trying to finish up the top of the fifth with no more damage, already four pushed across for the Skyhawks. And most of those batters are runners getting on by virtue of walks here in this inning. And some stolen bases mixed in. So we'll see if Ryan Morrow is the pitcher that can get Tuskegee out of the top of the fifth. Bases are loaded. Dower at third, Slade Mink, he's down at second. Catcher Alex Marquand at first. And stepping in, back to the batter's box is Silas Butler. He started this inning for the Skyhawks. So they batted around here. And the last thing Tuskegee wants now is for a base hit to take place. Morrow with the pitch. This one swacked and popped up. They're gonna be out of plays. Tuskegee, well, got some room over there. Tuskegee's first baseman, Evan Jones, in the midst of those blue jerseys of Point University, able to go in and squeeze that baseball for the out. So one pitch by Morrow, and Tuskegee finally comes off the baseball field. They give up four here in the top of the fifth, and the lead 10-2 to two now to the Skyhawks of Point University. Tuskegee coming to the plate after the timeout. Tuskegee fans, this is the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Hi, I'm Drayton Florence, 2023 SIAC Hall of Fame inductee. Thank you for watching the Golden Tigers Sports Network. STEM careers are one of the fastest growing fields, yet women of color comprise less than 10% of the workforce within these high paying jobs. Tuskegee University is changing this. In 2018, we were awarded a grant from the National Science Foundation to develop computer science career awareness for young African-American women. In 2019, we established the Campaign for Leadership and Excellence Scholarship. It provides future female engineers with financial support to pursue their educational goals. Today, Tuskegee continues to educate African-American women in STEM fields, empowering them to pursue their chosen careers and providing the foundation they need to transform science, medicine, and technology. If a STEM career is in your future, explore what Tuskegee can offer you. He's ahead in the count, 2-0. If he's taking until he gets a, a strike thrown. 2-0 pitch. That one on the inside at 3-0. Likely Chris definitely taking here on 3-0. Tuskegee in need of the base runners. 3-0 pitch from Johnson. On its way. And that's over for a strike. So now 3-1 to count to Smith. Johnson on the 3-1. That one over for a strike as well. Now a payoff pitch comes with three and two. One down, bottom of the seventh. Johnson on the 3-2 pitch. And that's a walk. Chris Smith with a good eye on that. Took the pitch on the inside. He's aboard with a walk. So that's a start. Now coming to the plate. First baseman, Evan Jones. Jones struck out in the second inning. Smith aboard at first base. 
Pitch at the plate, swung on and missed by Evan. No balls, one strike, one down, bottom of the seventh. Smith aboard on the walk. Johnson on the mound. He rocks and fires. That one in for a strike as well. So now really Evan Jones has got to tighten up that strike zone. Down in the count, 0-2. Swan and missed. Chased the ball out of the strike zone there to be retired on the strikeout. His second K of the ball game. Second K of this inning. And Tuskegee down to its final out now. And it's the shortstop Jalen Hill, the junior. Chris Smith down at first base. Pitch. Swung on and missed by Jalen. That sidearm delivery by Cole Johnson's hard to pick up that baseball. And Tuskegee batters behind as a result on the swings. Johnson 0-1 pitch. Just off the plate at 1-1. One one. Catcher Chris Smith down at first base. He drew a walk. Johnson with the pitch, swung on, popped up, out of play. Catcher calling for it, got some room near the rail but can't pull it in. Easton Harrison just was not sure where he was in front of that rail. And uh, lost it as a result. He thought it was going closer toward the dugout but it went back toward the field to play. Justin Robinson over in that area as well. Justin seated to Harrison on the catch. One and two. Two down, top of the bottom of the seventh. One, two pitch Johnson. Curveball swacked through the shortstop. Backhand there across the diamond baker and threw it way high. And it goes into the dugout, and every runner moves up a bit. Baker fielded it cleanly at short on a pick. Probably had an easier toss to second base than going across the diamond instead, and he threw it high. So, on board was Jalen with the error by the shortstop. And over to third base goes Chris Smith, who was on after got, got on with a walk. So, to the plate now comes Cody Willis with two down. And Cody, if he can get something into the outfield on the ground, Tuskegee will have gotten within inside of that mercy roll and be able to continue playing in this ball game. Runners at the corners, here's a pitch. First one over for a strike. Willis, the senior from Montgomery. Flew out his last time up, looking for a base hit here. This one is way out in front on a change up there by Cody Johnson. So Willis deep in the hole now, down to his final strike, and so are the Golden Tigers of Tuskegee. Runners at the corners, 0-2 pitch. Johnson delivers. So that one's off the plate for ball one. Good eye by Cody. Smith at third. Hill at first. 1-2 pitch. Curveball swatted out to center field. One step back, Butler is there, and he squeezes it for out number three. And Tuskegee falls to the Skyhawks of Point University, 12-2, in just a single ball game this afternoon from Washington Field. Tuskegee just not able to get it together on the mound and gave up a lot of walks and, and a lot of pass balls and wild pitches just enabled Skyhawks to build that lead. They build it up to 12-2. And that's where this one ends at the bottom of the seventh inning with the Skyhawks winning at 12-2. We'll take a break and come back with a wrap-up here from Washington Field on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Tuskegee fans, this is the Golden Tiger Sports Network.
This is Benji Taylor, head basketball coach for Tuskegee University, and you are watching the Golden Tiger Sports Network. I think one lesson from COVID, we saw that people who had uncontrolled disease, obesity, diabetes, they were at risk. So it's kind of like this is a time for people to realize your whole goal should be to have ultimate health. You know, if, if you're a smoker, you need to stop. If you're overweight, you need to work on that. And I know that's easier said than done. If you have high blood pressure, you need to control it. Because when anything comes that's an insult or a pandemic type situation, you want to decrease your vulnerability by trying to be in the ultimate health that you can be. And I think that's what we should take moving forward. With health equity, we're essentially meeting people where they are. We really have to be thinking about everyone in Alabama, not just able-bodied citizens, not just people that are likely to have, you know, access to resources, to emergency resources. Public health touches literally everything. Typically, we're working with our most vulnerable populations, and we want to give people the resources to have the best outcomes. Hello? Back live here at Washington Field, final score. The Skyhawks with a 12-2 win over the Golden Tigers of Tuskegee. So Tuskegee falls to 10-29 after the loss. No conference action this afternoon. They'll remain at 8-18 eight and 18 there. The Skyhawks increased their season mark to 28-14, and 14, and this was not conference play for them. So just a single ball game here. And Point University wins it over the Golden Tigers of Tuskegee. Tuskegee back in action here on Friday. We'll be here with the coverage as they host the Badgers of Spring Hill. That'll be a three-game series with 